Hey guys, Mitsuha here from KMG, and today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. No, it doesn't involve this, actually I guess it kind of does, but today we are going game hunting. Now, if you've been staying up to date with all of our posts, then you'll know that this has been something I've been planning for a short while, and today we are going to be going to Media Madhouse. They've, they've got a few things there that I've been looking to pick up for a while now. I'm very excited for that. They actually got another thing in as of yesterday that I'm also going to be picking up. That's very exciting. You guys will see what that is when we get there. And I know you guys have all heard plenty about Media Madhouse by now if you've been following us. Again, we're not sponsored, I promise. They are just a store that Kevin and I both really like. There are others around here. Uh, Media Madhouse is just the closest, so I go there quite a bit. The prices are great. The employees are super nice. It's a cool place. You'll understand. We're about to go there, so once you see it, you'll be like, oh, that's why Mitsuha likes it so much. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, I'm getting ready to go. I've got my special bag here. Car started. We're ready, I think. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know before I forget, since the area I live in is in the red as far as COVID-19 goes, that I don't entirely know what that means. All I know is that's about as bad as it gets, but since we are in that, it looks like mine and Kevin's school might not reopen anytime soon like they were planning, which means we'll have a lot more time for KMG, so... You know, try to look at the pro the positive side of things here. Hopefully that all works out. Hopefully everything stays okay. And yeah, it'll get better eventually. But for now, we're out of school and we'll be doing a lot of KMG. So that's great. Now, as anyone that knows anything will tell you, it's kind of hard to buy things without money. So that's what we're doing here. I am here to cash my check and then we'll head over and get everything. All right, guys, let's go. We got the money. Yeah. Hey, where the f you been, you ginger bastard? <laughs> cool. Laughing all the way to the bank. Alright guys, we are here, finally. No more stops along the way, nothing else. We are finally here. We are good to go. Let's go in. Alright, here we go guys. I actually haven't been here in a couple weeks. Oh, that door's locked. Here we go. Hey, what's up, guy? Hey. All Let right. All right, all right. All right, so that right there, that's going to be ours in a bit. Don't worry, that's very exciting. And I couldn't remember what kind of controller it had. The PS1 has a couple different types it can have. This does have the one with the joysticks. That's awesome. And then over here, tons of retro stuff, beautiful. That's the other thing we're here for, right there. Actually, down here they've got Shadows of the Empire complete in box. That's exciting. I did turn that down though for one that wasn't complete in box because it was a lot cheaper and that meant I got to get more games. So, in the long run, probably worth it. And here are all of those mystery boxes Kevin and I were talking about. Tons of these. Bunch of empty cases if you if you ever need more cases. I actually might have to get some of these sometime. Because I'm realizing I have a bunch of 360 games without cases. Just because when I was younger, I left games out all the time. So, I might actually have to pick up some of those sometime. A bunch of Genesis stuff here. Very beautiful. I have a Genesis, but no games. There's a story behind that that I'll save for probably an after hours. Uh, some PS1 stuff right here. All beautiful. Oh, they have a crash, guys. What else? Anything else good? Ooh, Final Fantasy, I'm saying. Beautiful. I don't know a whole lot about PS1. But hopefully that'll change eventually, too. Seeing as I'm, I'm getting one today, you know. Some more stuff here. Switch. That's great. Then, oh my gosh. This is what really got me excited last time. Their 3DS prices are insane. I do not have a link between worlds. That's the only Zelda 3DS game I don't have. $16.99, I'll definitely have to get that sometime. And then over here, they have the only... Wait, do they still have it? Ooh, maybe not, no. Oh, yes they do! Phantom Hourglass, the only DS Zelda game I don't have, so... Both of those, I, if you couldn't tell I'm a huge Zelda fan, I'm wearing the Termanian Crest right now, if that says anything. So all this stuff... Show you guys around. A bit more, there's another thing I'm looking for right here. Probably, oh. 
here it is. This this might as well have been made for me right there. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's got some weight. Beautiful. All right, so I'll be picking up that, and then also that PS One and Doctor Mario sixty four. All right, so while I'm here, uh, why not show you guys the rest of the stuff? Hopefully, no one picks that up while I'm showing you around. Here's some CDs. Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Welcome in. Welcome. Would you like to introduce yourself to everyone? I'm Larry from Media Madhouse. Yep. If you've seen episode two of After Hours, you guys know him. We mentioned him briefly on there. Episode two should be up. Oh, it's uploading right now at home, I think. Nice. So that'll be up sometime soon. We Welcome. thanked you guys on there. We let them know about that thing we have coming up eventually. Oh, yes. Nice. Yeah, that'll be awesome. I hope we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. That'll and, be cool. Yeah, and then today I'm here to pick up that PS1, Dr. Mario 64, and this beautiful box. All right. Nice. As, as soon as I saw this on Facebook and I saw it said 64, I was like, oh, yeah. okay, they practically made that for me. That's beautiful. <laughs> nice. So, that's have to very open exciting. Up on, on, on air. Yeah, I totally will. That'd be cool. So, how much it probably can't carry this one hand. I could, but I don't want to drop it. I'll get that, and then I'll, I'll bring that over, and I'll catch up with you guys when we're checking out and opening things. All right. Finishing everything up. Looking good, guys. How's it going? Everything going okay? Yep. We close out. Alright, so we got your power cord, your oh. AD, your controller, All right. your game, your system, and then warranty seals. Just keep those on seven days. There's your receipt. Yep. Alright. And by buying these, you get a blue bag. The way the blue bag works is anytime you bring it into media, you guarantee 10% off anything you're buying if it's not already a part of a deal. Alright. So so no mystery boxes. No mystery boxes. So, They're a deal in themselves. Yes, they are. Oh my gosh. But you're guaranteed some sort of deal when you come in with the bag. Yep. Yeah, Kevin, if I haven't given you it already and you're watching this, the second one's going to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Do you want me to open up down there? Uh, see it a bit better? I, I think this should be. Yeah, we'll see if I can't see from right here. I don't know what that is, but check that out. They're a website. <laughs> we have a Facebook page, but we do not yep. have a website. Alrighty, moment of truth. Alright, guys. Real quickly, leave your predictions down there. See what you think is going to be in there. But further ado, let's open it up. Oh my gosh, a lot of stuff. Wow. Okay, oh, what is, okay, so what is this? Capcom arcade controller to the Super Nintendo. Oh my so you gosh, can use it that for is awesome! Games, but like Capcom fighting games, it definitely gives you the advantage. Nice, and then a bunch of games in here for SNES, NES, N64 controllers. I don't even. What is this big thing? That goes to the original Nintendo. It's a map. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, Nintendo had their fair share of weird accessories back so in the day. That. Pad. Oh boy, that I've never even heard of that. That looks fun. <laughs> Has two different sides. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> someone, someone, let me know what that is. Someone out there definitely knows. It, you dance on it. It, yeah, it's like Twister. That's oh, that'll be fun. But man, thank you so much. This is incredible. No oh, and. No Ticket, but a lot of fun stuff in there. Yes, and I've been needing one of these, I believe, for my N64. That'll be great. And now I can shoot 8 bit ducks. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, no problem. Alright, and then. Larry, is Larry in there? Yes, he is. He's looking at stuff. Oh, alright. Larry, thank you very much. You're welcome. And I'll see you next time I come in here. You bet, man. Thanks for stopping in. Alright, so we. We made out today, guys. That was beautiful. That thing is full of stuff. All that, it was under $100 for all that. I got a PS1, a bunch of N64 games, an NES game, a bunch of 
N64 accessories, that one Capcom thing for the SNES. Amazing, guys. Media Madhouse, check them out. They're amazing. All right, so here we are. We are back. Let's do a bit of a recap. In this bag right here, we've got a PS1 with all the cables, the controller, one of the analog controllers, no less. All that was $40. Everything's fuzzy right now. I'm sorry for that. I don't know why it's fuzzy. But we also got Dr. Mario 64. That's great. That was the purchase. We knew what that was. Then we got this, $30. We got the Capcom Fighter Power Stick. Awesome. I think he said it was for the SNES for fighting games. That's incredible. Oh, uh, we got... I had never heard of this either, the Nintendo Power Mat. Anyone who knows anything about it, feel free to let me know about it. I know nothing other than it sounds cool. It's got power in the name. Nintendo was all about power back in the day, so that's neat. I know the Power Glove was a thing. I'd love to get one of those sometime. Uh, we also, our um, NES accessories, got the Duck Hunt gun. I've never used an actual one before. It clicks. That's satisfying. Really like that. We also got a couple of off-brand controllers. There's this one. I don't know if that's meant to be loose or what, but that's kind of neat for the NES. Don't know what it really does if it's different than, like, I don't know. I don't know. But that'll be fun to try. We've also got this, which I believe is for the SNES. That'll be cool. Those have a satisfying click. All right, so in addition to all that, we also have... This has suction cups, and I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea what this is for. Quick fire. Who knows? Uh, is it... Is that... Yeah, so it's NES, but I know nothing else about it. So, again, if someone knows anything about this, let me know. Because... I don't know, it look, looks like it would be neat to use, I just don't know what it's for. Probably, ooh, maybe Star Fox? Oh, no, that was SNES, so definitely not the thing, because, you know, this looks like what flight sims use, but definitely not a thing for a flight sim. Who knows? And then I've got, I'll grab all these at once, three different game cases, one of which is for the N64, so that's amazing. Maybe I'll throw Majora's Mask or something in there. It's my favorite game, so that seems fitting. So I got two for the NES, one for N64. And then for NES, I also got this, which is fitting. I got one of those. And I just so happened to get one NES game that I've never heard of, that being Fester's Quest. I know nothing about it. I'll probably play through it and let you guys know. Then, in the spirit of games, I also got... NHL Breakaway 98, which I do not have, but if it's anything like Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98, which I'm sure it's not, then it'll be amazing. Either way, it'll be nice to have a realistic hockey game in addition to Wayne Gretzky's. I also got NBA In The Zone 98, which I actually already have. Kevin, if you're interested in this, let me know. Also, it's got a Blockbuster sticker on the front, or on the top. You don't see Blockbuster anymore, so that's neat to see. Pretty cool. I think I'll leave that on there just because you never see those anywhere anymore. And lastly, we have a few more things. No, we've got... Okay, yeah. So let me pull these all out. We have a Game Genie. Uh, it enhances video games. Cool. I've never used one of these. I've never seen one. Never seen someone use one. I don't know what it does. Probably hook it up to an NES at some point and I'll try it out for you guys and let you know what I think on that as well. And then these are two of the things I was most excited about. For my N64, I got the transfer pack, which is great. That lets you, on Pokemon Stadium, you can put Pokemon from your Game Boy games onto there. So that's really neat. I would love to try that. And then I also got the Rumble Pack. Now, when I shoot people, I'll feel it. Beautiful. Oh, and I it might work for other games. Who knows? Maybe racing games use it. I'm not sure, but definitely shooting games do. I know that. And then lastly, we got this right here. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of adapter. 
Don't know what for, though. I mean, that's SNES N64 GameCube. I believe the SNES used that. Definitely N64 GameCube. So, who knows what it's for? Again, there's. I'm asking you guys about a lot of stuff. I'm not the most knowledgeable sometimes. But, again, if anyone knows what this is, please also feel free to let me know about this as well in the comments. But, yeah, that just about does it for now. All of that, $30.00. Minus the PlayStation and that game, so $30 for all that. That's incredible. So, there you go. This has been the first ever game hunting vlog. First of many, hopefully. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed making it, I know that. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me and Kevin hear them. You can also check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Podbean, all those. The, the name on all of those is KMG space dash space Kevin Mitsuha Gaming. So follow us on all those. We also have a Discord server, so if you're interested in that, that'll also be linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.